Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we are doing our coin analysis on WePower. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button below. Also, in my description, I have my Twitter, my Discord, and my Facebook group, which has limited spots available. Super excited to see all of you there where we can just chat about crypto, have fun, and you get access to some of the smartest people that I know in this space. So of course, in this coin analysis, we're gonna cover what is WePower, the coin purpose, the team, market cap, competition, and I may start adding partners here, goals, which is like the roadmap, pros and cons, and then I'm gonna give them a star rating based on one to 10. So what is WePower? WePower is a green energy trading platform that enables a tokenization of green energy. They enable renewable energy producers to raise capital by issuing their own energy tokens. These tokens represent energy they commit to produce and deliver, allowing the consumer to bypass the centralized energy companies and allows them to buy at cheaper rates. So now for the coin purpose, WePower actually is a two token system. We have the WPR token and then the energy token, which is worth one kilowatt. So token holders of the WPR will receive 0.9% of energy tokens produced by renewable plants and 48 hour priority access to participate in auctions for purchasing tokenized energy. Also, like I said, one energy token equals one kilowatt and the WPR token holders can use their token for energy. They can sell it before its production or sell it to the wholesale market when it is produced. So now for our team, our first superstar is Steven Mearsman. He is over the energy markets. He gets his superstar for his experience at Trifigura as a deals desk manager and his junior management experience at Oliver Wyman and his experience at AES Energy Storage as a business development and technical analyst. Our first multi-star is John Montanus. He is their blockchain advisor. He gets his superstar experience because of very sign where he's director of financial services and his experience at visa international as chief foreign exchange dealer and director of credit card interchange and he gets green star because he's been in this space since 1986 so he has over 30 years of experience next and our final star david allen cohen he is the energy advisor he gets his superstar for being at silicon energy as the vp of business development director of energy and operations at highland energy group and so much more he also has many advisory roles on different projects and he gets his green star because he's been in this space also for over 30 years, starting in 1987. And then our first normal star is Nimrod Lahavi. He's in charge of payments. He gets his star for being the owner of Lahavi Solutions Software Boutique, which he's been running for over 21 years. And then our final star is Gaitis. He's in charge of digital performance and user acquisition. He gets his star for being the co-founder and development business director of Improspect. So it's nice to see they have a pretty good team, but on a side note, it does look like they added advisors within their team page, which is not usually a big deal. It just, I, I just wanna make you aware of that. So. This seems to be pretty much like a team slash advisory page. So maybe they did this because they expect the advisors to have a pretty big role on the overall aspects of the project. Next, their market cap. We have a hard cap of $35 million, which isn't too bad. It's about the max I like to go. The total token supply will depend on the price of Ether at the time of the token sale. And the team has decided to make announcements next week to lock it down. And since the hard cap is around 35 million US dollars, the number of WPR tokens is dependent on Ether. So it currently is gonna fluctuate based on that. And that's why I have question marks for both circulating supply and total supply. So what do we know for sure? That pre-sale had a 25% bonus, and I believe there's still a 15% bonus until they hit the soft cap of $5 million. Also, I know you guys don't like hearing this, but US is restricted from investing. So now for their competition. Of course, we have Power Ledger. Where we know they're in Australia, they're just moving over to Southeast Asia, most likely global as fast as possible. Definitely the biggest competitor right now for WePower. After that, we have Restart Energy. So I'm actually going to be doing a video on this fairly soon. They are mostly in Romania, but plan to also expand as quickly as possible. For partners, which I do want your feedback if you guys want me to start doing this for every video. So due to WePower's potential global impact and ability to solve emission problems, they are being supported by the Ministry of Energy of Republic of Lithuania. 
Also, Earig is helping them to launch a pilot tokenization of all Estonian energy sectors, then Conquistador Solar, Savitas Projects, and Nova Corex intend to use Repower and connect more than 1,000 megawatt solar energy capacity plants. Also, if you check the website, they have many more uh, partners. These are just the ones and the, these, these are just the main ones I wanted to talk about. So now for their goals, we're going to go to the website for this one. March 2018, the platform will launch. Then May, they're going to connect to the energy infrastructure. July, they have the platform testing. August, they'll launch in Spain. September, they'll distribution of donated energy to token holders. October, they're going to launch in Portugal and Germany. Then 2019, balancing and frequency regulation. Then March, virtual power plant structure. And then 2019 will just be full of a further expansion. So it's awesome to see that they have a clear cut, straightforward roadmap. Hopefully they can achieve all of this. If so, I believe they can be very successful. So now the pros and cons of the project. First, the idea is actually solving a problem. Next, the partnerships. Beyond Estonia, WePower has established partnerships in both Spain and Australia. Also, I think it's pretty big that they have the Ministry of Energy of the Republic of Lithuania supporting the project. They have a pretty good team. They are super hyped in the crypto space. Now for cons, it's a very competitive space. Biggest one being Power Ledger, and they are actually fighting them in Australia for dominance, I guess you could say. Next, we have Restart Energy, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot more companies come in in the near future. They also have a very ambitious idea, which could be kind of looked at the positive and a negative if they're able to succeed or not. And then finally, the energy space is highly regulated and Regulations differ from country to country, so we'll see how they deal with that. I'm giving WePower an 8 out of 10. I love their partnerships, their beautiful and straightforward roadmap, super hyped by the crypto space, and I fully expect that to continue on the exchanges, especially if they make any kind of run like Power Ledger. I do like their team, and I really like their advisors. Hopefully, though, they can keep up with their competition, especially Power Ledger, and also comply with the regulations that come within this energy space. If so, you combine that with this ambitious idea, this could really be a good one. And that's my video for WePower. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Check out my description for my Twitter, my Facebook group, and my Discord. I hope to see you guys there soon, and I'll see you next time.